Oh, terrible. Let's talk about radios. Uh, that's what we're I here for, right? I got a question here. Matt um, dropped something in the chat. Um, is uh, loss in opposite polarity, vertical or horizontal, to go away with multi-hop HF propagation, or is polarity re retained after being reflected by the ionosphere? It Basically, is it is, no. yeah, correct. It is not. In the near field, you know, you can, a polarization mismatch, you can end up with up to 20 dB of loss, but as that signal mixes, bounces through the ionosphere, then it's, it all is, all is good. Um, yeah. you know, it's it, that you don't, you don't have that, you don't have that mismatch anymore in, in polarization. That's why, you know, we can on one end, you know, say we can use a vertical antenna for, you know, mm -hmm. uh, DX and, um, the other party can use, um, you know, a wire antenna, like a dipole and mm -hmm. things work just fine, you know, making, making that connection between point A and point B. I think the only exception to that would be like an Envis antenna. Like if you got a low, strong wire antenna that's specific mm -hmm. for Envis, then generally only Envis ant style antennas are going to work in that particular situation. But that's more of a straight up and down versus really getting a skip off the ionosphere. Correct. Yeah. When you yeah when we're talking yeah when we're talking Envis, you know you need your polarization pretty much needs to be the same. You know, right. horizontal to horizontal because we're you know you're beaming the signal straight up with the intention of it coming straight straight down, and that exactly. does make a difference. So, so, but generally, so like if you have a vertical antenna and the other station has a wire antenna like a dipole, um, after the first hop, all bets are off. All right. Yep. But if you're close, Correct. like if you're uh, if you're close, I mean, really the upper bands of HF it wouldn't matter, but. Um, like 40 and 80, mm -hmm. you're, well, you're probably running horizontal anyway as a 40 and 80, but yeah, it, it could make a difference there. Yeah, so. yeah. I've noticed, you know, we've, um, you know, year, a couple of years ago, we had a local group chatting on six meters, and I could notice, yeah, I, I could notice a difference between, uh, you know, the vertical antenna guy and the horizontal antenna guy. Yeah. So it's, it does, yeah, and, and now, you know, it's, those were stations within about, within about 20 miles of each other, but it made, a, right, it made yeah. a big difference. That's definitely line of sight. The 20 miles yeah. and six meters is, is just a hop in the park. Um, yep. Especially on a mode, like or on a band like six meters and two meters where you have both uh, upper side band and FM. And, you know, the standard is that FM is usually vertically polarized um, and the side band is horizontally polarized. So, most DXers mm -hmm. on those bands usually are horizontally polarized. So if you're looking at two meter or six meter sideband, you're probably going to run horizontal. Mm -hmm. Even though I would even say, even with ionics or um, ducting, is that <sighs> ducting probably polarization doesn't matter as much. No, it doesn't. You know, uh, or sporadic it, it doesn't really. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it doesn't, it doesn't. Did that answer your question? KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpol-antenna.com.